Saad, you've been, I know you've got a plane to catch, but I can't let you go without your thoughts on the crisis in the Ukraine. Now, the Crimea is a long mm. way away from Afghanistan. Um, but what do you, what are your thoughts about the, the crisis mm. in the Ukraine and the Crimea in particular? Well, I think it basically, I mean, it's something we've all known. I, I'm not sure if you would agree, if, at least uh, on camera. But I think Obama's been very weak on foreign policy. Uh, almost every, in, every leader, including our uh, fearless leader, Hamid Karzai, has called his bluff over the years. Um, you know, no drama Obama. I mean, I think it's, it was good initially for him to be very thoughtful and yeah. to think things through. But he hasn't, hasn't been able to deal with these types of crises over the last few years, whether it was in Syria, whether it was the Afghan crisis with Hamid Karzai, whether it was the uh, Green Revolution in Iran. I mean, there are, there are a whole bunch of things that he, you know, he's, he has been weak on. And I think that, and Putin's going to get away with this. Um, there's not much, it seems to us, that Obama can do to stop you know, this, you know, it's a fait accompli that we have to deal with now. And I don't think he's strong enough to, to, to force the allies, whether the, it's the Germans or the other Europeans, mm. To really fall in, you know, to fall behind the U.S. in terms of tough sanctions, um, but it, it also shows that um, it also is a bad example because if the Russians can do it, you know, so many others could do the same thing. And what's to stop the Chinese from going into these islands off the coast of Japan, for example? Will the America be prepared to go to war, even though they, they are officially, you know, they have an official commitment to do so? So I think it's important for, for, for the Americans to sort of man up on this issue. But what would you, what would you say the Americans should do, though? I think the, the, I think the Russians are very vulnerable. Uh, I mean, mm. the, the Russian economy just basically lives off mm. the oil and gas. I think the Americans could, you know, could, could impose very tough sanctions, mm. for example. It, could supply the Europeans with gas, uh, and obviously mm. allow exports of, uh, of uh, American uh, oil and gas maybe uh, fast track talks with the Iranians mm. you know Iran could be an alternative to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, Russian gas but also I think that but but the Russians also have vulnerabilities I mean if the Crimeans can do this why couldn't the Dagestanis and the Chechens also have yeah. their own referendums yeah this is a, an interesting point so your the point you've 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 made is that um, even if you accept mm. that a very substantial majority of the people who live in Crimea at present uh, would vote to be part of the Russian Federation as opposed to being part of the Ukraine. Um, that, and if that were what Putin stakes his claim on, uh, and leaving aside issues about the Ukrainian mm -hmm. constitution, which of course our foreign minister has, has drawn attention to, uh, that then exposes Putin to the um, claim, well, what's self, if self-determination is good enough mm. for the Crimeans, what about all of these other countries or, or, or regions within the Russian Federation mm. in Central Asia? Yeah. I think that's, that's something that should be discussed. I mean, I mm. think Putin has to understand that they, his actions will have consequences. Mm. But also for the referendum, I think people need time. I mean, you can't have sure. fast-track a referendum of such importance. It's important for the Crimeans to understand the consequences of joining Russia. How will it impact tourism? How will it impact their economy longer term? Mm. Will, they be a, uh, will they be a priority to the Russians and Mos you know, to Moscow, to the Moscow government? Yeah. Uh, the economic consequences and so forth. And I think they, you know, look at the Scottish referendum. It's been the making for years now. It's been debated. Mm. And people have had an ample opportunity to, to figure out if it's going to be actually good for Scotland. Mm. Um, same in Spain. So, but, you know, not to give up. I think that's the most important thing for the Americans. All right. Well, Saad, it's great to talk to you. And good Thank luck you. with your uh, continued uh, media business in, in Central and South Asia. It's very inspiring to see uh, Thank you. the work you're doing. And it's wonderful that you've got such a strong Australian connection. Thank you very much.